So check this out. I got this package today in the mail from my friend Jamie Jacobson. And I've known Jamie since high school. She played the piano in our school jazz band and that doesn't have anything to do with this video today. What happened was I saw on Facebook that Jamie was making uh, pens. See, she's into woodworking and she was making these wooden turned, lathe turned pens for a friend or friends uh, or family members. And I was really offended. And I said, hey, 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 hey. I collect fountain pens. I need you to make me a fountain pen. And she was very kind. And she said, sure, I'll make you a fountain pen. And she did. And uh, we're going to have a, a, a box opening today. That's what we're going to do here in just, just right now and find out about this pen she sent me. Your unboxing, you start by turning it around to the other side. And you, uh, it's not coordinated enough. Then you get these scissors. And you cut it out. So now, ooh, and it comes, oh, it comes in this box that's got my name on it. You don't see that very often in the regular retail pen world, your name on it. And, oh, and she taped it. And I, so, open it up. Oh, and there's some, like, fuzz on it and look at that <laughs> oh, huh, look at that is that beautiful or what I think she said that with this is tiger wood I'm gonna have to ask her again look at that will you look at that you know if you want a pen like this it was very very reasonably priced I won't tell you how much because I don't know if she wants me to spread that around but if you'd like one I can hook you up. Just just email me. And the lid comes off. Oh, and she has the nib, a nib protector. And look at that. Two-tone nib. Now, if I had regular eyesight, I could read on it. It looks like it might be a fine nib. I am just too blind to read what that says. It says... Anyway, it's beautiful, beautiful. And guess what this does? For any of you who have seen these handmade wooden, oh, it just feels so nice. You, It posts, but not only does it post, it threads on. It feels, I can tell you right now, it feels perfect in the hand. Perfect, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I just gotta get some, some old guy glasses and see if I can read what it says on that nib. Because that's so beautiful. And then uh, the section here is plastic. And let's take the, bar the barrel off. And it threads out. Oh, and she didn't have to do this. But she sent an ink. And it looks like it just takes standard cartridges. But I'm going to put that in there. Because we're going to do a writing sample here in just a moment. Oh my gosh, look at that. I mean, is that beautiful? See, you could write with it unposted. You could write with it, sorry. You could write with that unposted really easily. Now, um, but I'm gonna post it like it's supposed to be. That's the coolest thing in the world. Um, I'm going to get her some acrylic blocks. She's going to make me an acrylic one. And she's probably going to make me my first gold nibbed pen. Man, I, this is like Christmas Day. That is so beautiful. We're going to do a writing sample here in just a second. I'll let that ink seep into that point. That nib. I always say point. You wouldn't think I was a fountain pen collector using words like point. But it's the nib. And I can't see what that says, but I'm going to find out here in just a second. So I read the nib with some uh, old guy glasses on, and I think it says 
Medium Point, Germany. And I need to find out if you're an expert on th this kind of thing. Um, tell me if you recognize this nib. I'm un I am still a novice at this hobby and I don't recognize the nib. Um, if you can tell me what nib you think this is or you know it is, it's beautiful. And so we're going to do a writing sample by writing in my journal. And it's supposed to be. So I'm going to write in my journal uh, to demonstrate this pen. And I wanted to point out that uh, the threads are not sharp or cumbersome. They don't get in the way. The section is very comfortable for holding and it rests well in my hand. And since the cap is screwed on to post, it feels very secure. So let's go ahead and put in 2, 15, 20, 20, Saturday. Oh, sorry for the bad handwriting. I'm trying to be upside down. This is my new hand. Made fountain pen made especially for me by my friend Jamie. Okay, so it writes really well. I'm pretty sure it's a medium nib. It writes really, really well. Feels really, really good in your hand. Um, I believe this pen is made from tiger wood. And I'm going to put a question mark. Not Tiger Woods. Tiger Wood. Um, hmm, I better find out. If this pen is made out of Tiger Woods, we're going to have a problem. Um, I don't think so. Uh, very smooth, wet. Hmm, let's scratch that out. Very nice, very nice. Like I say, if you want one of these pens, I can hook you up. I seriously, seriously, I seriously can hook you up. I know, I know the person that made this pen. Um, we can get you one if you're interested. And if you know about the nib, please let me know. Handmade, uh, handmade pen and wooden pen. She can use different kinds of woods, and like I say, I'm going to send her some blocks of acrylic so she can do me one of acrylic, and then I'm going to do a gold nib soon. But anyway, that's my pen from my friend Jamie. Now, some of you that will watch this video know Jamie, know all about all this, but this, just to let you know, this is the pen she's making. This is gorgeous. If you ask me privately, I'll tell you what I paid for. It was very reasonable. It, very reasonable. Um... Not much more than buying like a Pilot Metropolitan. Um, but I love it. Now it's my favorite pen. Gosh, that is so cool. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, uh, greetings to your... I've never met your husband. He seems like a wonderful guy. You have a lovely family. And now you have a wonderful hobby helping people that... Love the fountain pen collecting industry. And I'm going to, before I quit, I'm just going to go ahead and. There it goes. That's my new pen. Uh, that's it. Thanks very much.